doing a full walkthrough video today of our listing at 135 Ridgewood Way, listed by Jeb Bradbury with Five Market Realty. This property is located in River Oaks. We'll give you a little look of the streetscape here. River Oaks is located right by UGA's campus. It's one of the first neighborhoods as you enter East Athens, and it's still very close to the Five Points area, close to the Loop and a lot of uh, shopping. We do these walkthrough videos to give you a realistic idea of what the property looks like, and that way if you're an out-of-town buyer, you get to get a realistic walkthrough video versus just the still pictures. If you're interested in homes for sale in Athens or anything Athens GA real estate, be sure to click subscribe below, and we'll get started giving you a walkthrough. Now, 135 Ridgewood is 2,719 square feet, built in 1987. And most of this is going to be all on one level with a very large basement is where we'll end the video. Trying to give you an idea of the neighborhood. River Oaks uh, is kind of a quiet, kept secret here in our community. It is a neighborhood that doesn't get a lot of drive through traffic. If you're coming to River Oaks, you're coming for a reason. And uh, it's one side of the streetscape is on the river and the other side is on the UGA golf course. So it can feel very private and secluded here in a good way because you're very close to things in Athens, but you feel like you're kind of nestled in the woods. So as we come in, you're gonna get an idea of this large kind of walkway foyer entrance to the property. Going towards the back is the living space. We'll show you that with the back porch. I'm gonna give you a little bit of the entry here as well. So right there is where I came in, the front door, the panels on each side. Notice the wood floors. And if you look up, we've got nine foot ceilings. Straight through here, you're gonna have your two car garage into the laundry room, which this makes it convenient because right off the garage, it essentially works like a mudroom. Washer and dryer, sink to the right, nice little window off the side of the house. The two car garage is right there. We're not gonna show that in this video, but we do have a picture on the line. And now going back to this side line here, that's to where we just came through in the entrance. And we've got a very large eat-in kitchen. Giving you a good look here. One of the best features of this kitchen is windows, windows over the sink, windows over that back corner, feeding right into the dining room. Come back this way to give you a good look here. So you've got large fridge, lots of counter space. You've got oven and microwave to the left, more countertop space. One thing we're not gonna be able to show you is there's a nice little flagstone sitting area with a water feature on the side yard. Now, as you look here, you're going to be able to see a little desk area, oven, microwave, obviously room for that full fridge, and uh, it looks like you've got a gas cooktop. The pantry is going to be right there immediately to your right, and as I back out here, this is going to be your sight line with the eat-in kitchen, the great windows going into the dining room, and again, just look out those windows. You can kind of get a feel for what this neighborhood's really about. Again, that's River Oaks. Very large dining room, so currently holding a large table, could definitely hold one even larger. And then this is going to feed right into this big, great living area. Before we get there though, I'm gonna show you this back window, overlooking the backyard. Again, look at all these trees. Large dining room, straight through into the kitchen. Now it feels very open to the living space, but it is a defined separate space. As you look here at this great sight line, you've got to your right, through to this uh, big hallway into the front door, you've got a bar area, you've got built-ins, and of course this great masonry fireplace. Large living room. Well, another thing is this is three bedrooms all on one level over a full basement. So there's a lot of living space, but also uh, three bedrooms on main is very rare. One thing that's happened kind of incidentally is River Oaks is not in over 55 neighborhood, but it has a tendency to attract buyers who are looking uh, to buy something after 55 or, or even older. There are some good floor plans here that lend themselves to that. Just giving you a little bit more of a sight line in this den. Now we're gonna try to head out to the uh, back porch area. It's one of the best features of the property. So come through, you're gonna get the squeak of the Screen door, maybe. But take a look at this large porch. You can feel how quiet it is. And if you can see straight through there, that is the UGA golf course. You can even see a golf cart maybe rolling through. 
here's another great feature. We've got this large, expansive back deck, but then you've also got this covered back porch. Take a look at that real quick. As you can see here, look at that peaked high ceiling, the ceiling fan, sitting area. And that door right there is going to feed right into the uh, owner suite, which is where we'll be heading next. We try to keep these videos as short as we can, but we do want to give our interested parties an accurate look at the property. We find these walkthrough videos are extremely helpful to people moving to the area that are not in Athens at the time. All right, back in the living room, coming back through, pay attention to these wood floors. You've got these great built-ins and of course a wet bar right here. We'll backtrack to the basement. I really wish I could give you a better perspective of how big this space feels. You've got storage to the left, half bath located right here. We'll transition here into the owner suite. As you can see, very large master area, access to the back porch, ample space for large furniture, of course, a king size bed. You've got a large garden tub, double sinks, your closet. This goes back through to a water closet and the shower to the right. That's our primary owner suite bed. Now we'll come back to the second bath. And what you've got in this scenario here is you've got a sink in the front, then you've got the shower, water closet with an additional sink, quality tile floor, and then we've got the other secondary bedrooms. We'll come here. Secondary bedroom number two is in the front of the house. Carpet, nice front window, closet to the right. Finishing here with our third bedroom, which is a little larger. Uh, it's also got another front window. I feel like the windows are one of the best features of this house. And as you can see, this could also hold a very large bedroom suite. Now we're going to end the video in the basement. This is one of the larger basements you're going to find. It is a full basement currently unfinished, being utilized like a workshop and storage, but it offers a lot of potential to a new buyer. Could be finished space, could remain as is. It is a full basement, and you'll get a glance at this when we end the video. Coming down the steps, these are sturdy with rails on both sides. Concrete floor, as you can see, has been beautifully maintained. and Looks like it was painted. All right, this is a large basement. So you can just see all the way to the front of the house. We're gonna make a little lap here and then we'll end the video. As you can see in this back corner, currently being utilized as a nice little workshop area, appeals to a lot of buyers. There's the bottom of that great fireplace we saw upstairs. As you come through here, you get a look at some of the systems. You can see the water heater, lots more storage. And of course, in this back corner, you've got uh, access to the backyard, things for tools. So if you're interested in this property, be sure to follow up Jeb Bradbury. His contact information is, is in the comments below. You can also hit subscribe or visit our website, 5mrealty.com. This is 135 Ridgewood Way.